Hello everyone, and as always, welcome back to Strategy Gaming Dojo, where we find, learn, and play one more turn of the great strategy games, and today we continue on with our Let's Play of Gary Grigsby's War in the East 2. This is episode number 101. Uh, we've crossed the century mark. Uh, now last time, well actually, let's just start with this, I am gone today. Uh, so you'll be watching this, I think, on Tuesday, uh, the 29th of June of the year of our Lord, 2021. Um, so yes, I am still on vacation, but I recorded this uh, on Sunday, actually, uh, before I took off. So I wanted to make sure we got some content up. Uh, I'm going to start taking Mondays off just every week. Uh, I feel like my live streams are the worst on Monday. There's probably a reason for that. I've heard there's the Monday blues, something like that. I don't know. Maybe it's going back to work uh, during the week. But usually that's my busiest day during the week uh, for work and et cetera, et cetera. You don't want to hear all my my personal stuff. The, the point is, is uh, one day a week, I'm just going to put up like a tutorial that I've, I've recorded in advance or something like that uh, and probably not live stream. But then we'll go Tuesday through Sunday. Uh, trying to live stream this game every single day as we motor through 1942. Wow, that rhymed. That was beautiful. Um, now, last time we set up the north uh, to the best of our ability. I say our or mine, I guess. You may say my ability is better. I, I, I don't know, but it was to the best of my ability. I feel fairly satisfied with where we sit in the north now as we try to get through March and get into the springtime, the thaw. Uh, it's going to get muddy. It's going to be very hard for anyone to attack. Um, and the Soviets, it seems, are pretty stretched in many places. That's largely not a good thing for, uh, you know, not a good reason for that. It's because they've taken back so much territory. But I do feel like their attacks are running out of steam a little bit. Uh, the Soviets aren't really set up to be, you know, launching a major offensive in January, February of 1942. Uh, at least they weren't historically. Now, now, I mean, they did launch an offensive. Don't get me wrong, but I'm saying in a, a sustained offensive, you know, to push us all the way back to Poland, let's say. Now, in a few places on the map, they're not that far, but I'm just saying overall, uh, it's a little early. Now, if this was the next winter, the winter of 42, 43, we would be in much, much worse shape because obviously the Soviet army uh, would be far more advanced than it is right now. I kind of feel like here in the north, setting up this line, setting up this line in front of Peskov, we should be able to hold on. And we've got a lot of stuff coming back on the map. Now, I've got, when I say a lot of stuff, we've put it back in the reserves. We've got a lot of manpower in the reserves. So those uh, divisions are coming out at full strength. And we can start throwing them on the line here, uh, hopefully in a smart way. Uh, but we should be able to hold this in the north. And then, you know, when we get into the spring and we get past the mud, uh, the ultimate plan here is to try to slice this right in half, get up here, uh, interdict anything coming across uh, Lake Ladoga, take back Leningrad, and then get ready for the winter of 42-43 right here on the Volkov. And this time actually set it up correctly, be dug in, uh, be ready to go have our tanks sitting back here in the urban areas just you know, uh, building strength instead of losing strength. Uh, but we'll do that all in the fifth. There's a lot of episodes to go. Uh, down here, uh, we've turned all of this into 18th Army, and we've got the Finns down here. I think this looks fairly strong. Now, he could start trying to leak around here, but we are going to be bringing new infantry divisions from the reserves, a, a couple at least, to set out here, and I think we should be okay. Now that gets us into the center, where we've got bigger problems. Uh, now last time I got down to Smolensk, I kind of got to this line here. Our biggest problem is these units are quite weak uh, to the north of Smolensk, but we don't have a whole lot to replace them with. I mean, we just don't have anything... Uh, that I think could withstand much Soviet pressure. So we're going to have to go through these, check them out again. Now we've lined up 9th. We've got Modal in charge of 9th Army now. Um, this core we have down here mainly because I've got this infantry division from 9th Army that really kind of has to stay here. I mean, we just don't have enough uh, stuff down here 
to withstand a major attack to the north of Smolensk. So I've got to try to keep everything down here I can. Now these units are extremely weak. Uh, we could put them into their, you know, we could merge these two, but I'm not going to merge anymore. Uh, that seems to have set hearts aflutter. Uh, I think we did it to an appropriate amount. Uh, you may disagree with that, but I, I think we did it to an appropriate amount. We've gotten a lot of new reinforcement divisions, so we've actually got more divisions than we started the game with. Uh, but we did merge some. We've probably done enough. Anything more than that, especially with the big manpower that we now have in the reserves, that we could put you know these in the reserves and immediately there are 16,000 man division again. Uh, it probably doesn't make sense to merge them together. We'd be better off to put them in the reserves and try to pop them back out. Uh, we do have a time issue, though, in the fact that if he breaks through right here, man, we're in big trouble. Uh, okay, so with all of that lead in, let's go down here and kind of zoom in. Now, we're not getting freight to all of this stuff. Smolensk is getting some stuff in. Vitebsk is getting some stuff in. Uh, you see back here, we've got, uh, what is this, Polotsk. We've got Polotsk getting stuff in. Uh, if we hit 8... You can see Polotsk is actually doing quite a bit of it. We did get a little in Smolensk, but it's not it's not enough really to, you know, it's just supplying these panzers that are sitting right here for the most part. Uh, it's really all about Vitebsk and Polotsk. We've got to make sure that they don't cut this rail line because then our trucks have to go all the way back here for sure. As it is now, it can at least flow down this rail and flow down this rail somewhat the freight can now if the soviets are next to this uh troops can't move through that rail line but freight still can as long as they're not actually on the rail line uh okay uh let's look at these units very weak 5772 and 4799 at least they have bullets uh which has been a problem now you see right behind them here uh this is eighth corps this is Han Zorn. Zorn is a new commander. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think that the commander of 8th Corps, or uh, did I say 8th? 13th, sorry. 13th Corps uh, must have died when the headquarters got pushed back at some point uh, because I did not replace him and Zorn is now on. Now, I guess that could have come from OKH. I didn't read that part of the report, uh, so I'm not sure exactly what happened there, but it's now Zorn, which I guess is all that really matters. Uh, we do still have this unit out here that we could you know, move back instead of putting it in reserves. I'm tempted to maybe put it there. Uh, we'll get to this, these units, what we have left here, uh, in a moment. But for right now, we've got a fortified zone and we've got these two divisions, which are severely, severely under strength right next to them. Uh, we've got two more very under strength divisions and they are commanded by Heinrike in 43rd Corps. Heinrike is an excellent general, 8978. You know, you, you can't get much better than that. Heinrike is excellent, but I don't want to shift command out here because when you do shift command, eh, now, now I just said that. Let's see, where is 9th Corps? He's all the way back here. That's Rendelik. Rendelik is actually quite good as well, but I would like these guys to be under the same command, but it does affect, they, they get a little disrupted when you change their command. Um, in a turn, doo -doo 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 -doo. who do we have here? This is seventh core. This is Fombarker. He's probably our worst general. Let's look at this one more time. Uh, so Zorn is good. Rendelik is good. Uh, we, I mean, we've got some good generals in fourth. Heinrike is good. I'm going to move him out here for now so that he's close. Uh, you know, he's going, he's tied directly back to fourth army. This is the only unit he's now commanding. Uh, right. Uh, meanwhile, six of nine and 13th. Uh, I keep hitting that. That's Zorn. Okay. We got it. Rendelik has only got one as well. Now we are going to be bringing a lot more things on the map. Uh, I would love to send this off to the reserves, but I just, I don't think we can afford to do it. I'm going to put him right there for now. I'm going to hope this next turn he starts to feel a little better. <laughs> I guess that's the best way of putting it. Um, got two there, two there, plus the fortified. Uh, how's the fortified looking? Now, see, this has only got 10 men. 
Uh, this fortified unit only has 10 men. I mean, really, they're completely depleted. We're just going to disband them. Uh, there's no reason to have them drawing any kind of supply. Uh, we could merge unit. Eh. Let's disband that as well. Uh, okay, I mean, you know, ultimately, it's just there's no reason to keep those around. These are really weak units. That does make me, you know, question whether I should be bringing this up here. Can I undo that move? No, he, he moved in here too far. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, we're just going to have to try to hold one more turn here. We're going to get new things on the map next turn. Uh, these guys just have to hold. They just have to. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. We could transfer 167th uh, since he's only got, you know, uh, Lieb could move up here. Or I could keep him on the road. He's got everybody in command there. That's fine. I think I'll put this 167th. Uh, let's put it under... It could be under Rendelik or Heinrike, really. Uh, he's stacked with 8th Corps. So let's just put him in 8th Corps. All right. There we go. 8th Corps. All right. Fantastic. Now then... Um, Let's go ahead and look at the support units that 8th Corps has. It has four artillery. It has a mixed flak and it has a pioneer. Um, we've got enough artillery, I think. Let's give him a Stug. Uh, is there anything else? Let's give him a Werfer as well. Okay. Uh, now with Rendelik uh, here, he's only got the one unit. He's got plenty. This is fine. He's got motorized mixed flak, pioneers. He's got three constructions. Let's actually put one of these back into OKH. So I'm kind of moving them up the chain now. We're doing it uh, uh, manually. Um, so that's that. And then here we have Heinrike, who we really should just move and get him off the line. He's got five howitzers. He's got had two heavy cannons. We don't need that, really. Uh, let's put one of these back into OKH if we can. All right, so we can move some of that to the south where they need it. So Heinrike has now four artillery. He's got mixed flak. He's got light flak, pioneer, and werfers. I also really would like to give him a stug, but I'm kind of running out a little bit. I want to save some of those for the south or down here at least. Uh, so I think that's fine. Uh, he's just going to roll this way. All right, so they're all in 4th Army. Now, if we look back at 4th Army, it's at 12 of 27. My goodness. My goodness. These are headquarters. We've got a Panzer Division. We've got this French Division here. Uh, I guess it's 3,500 men. We could set them out here to help, but I'm going to hold them back at Vitebsk just in case they need to put out any fires. Um you know, question how much fire they can put out, but that's what we're going to do. Now, this second Panzer group uh, is under the 24th Motorized. 24th Motorized is von Schweppenberg, 6667. Okay, all right, that's not bad. He's got uh, only two howitzers. Let's give him another. Uh, he needs all the help he can get here. I guess we've only got this one artillery now. Now, this is what happens. I put them all up in the north and the center, and I start to run out. Uh, let's also give him another mixed flak. <sighs> I mean, they need all the help they can get right there, right? I mean, that's kind of the center, the crux of it all. Uh, all right, they're sitting there in a fortified unit. That's about all we can do. He's also got 24th, 24th. 18th Panzer is not in 24th. Uh, what's he commanding now? Eight of nine, 24th, or I'm sorry, 18th Panzer. Uh, all right, is over here under Volkers. Mm, he's better infantry general, to be honest with you. Uh, but it is what it is. I mean, he's only a three mech. Good Lord, what is going on here? He should really be in charge of the infantry. Um... And uh, von Schweppenberg, so he's 47th. Let's put these guys in 47th. 
47th, and then you're going to be in 47th. All right. Um, so those two are in 47th. Now that frees up uh, von Schweppenberg, who is 24th. Okay. Uh, this guy should be in 47th as well. Eh, I'll keep him in 24th. I think we can get away with that. 24th. 24th. All right, so he's 24th, 24th. Um, this guy should be in 24th. All right. Uh, that should help him pass some dice rolls. I could even put these two motorized divisions now that they're kind of out here in the middle of nowhere um we could put them in 24th but he's now got eight of nine do we have another panzer commander around here eh, not really uh we've got second panzer that's labor okay uh, who else does he have? Let's get on second Panzer again. Um, where are his other commands? Okay, he's in command of those two motorized. Uh, I see. So I directly attached the motorized there. Well, we really need another core here. Looks like this is railroad, I believe. Gosh, this guy's just so bad. Uh, hmm, sorry, I hadn't thought about this before. Um, doesn't look like I have another command around here. I feel like I should have. I guess one of them's down here, you know, talking about cores. I guess one of them's down here. That's causing a problem. We really need to get a new core up in here then to take some of that. I wanted to flip these guys over, but I don't think that really makes sense. All right, they're just going to have to sit here. He's now in 24th. They're in 39th, okay. Where exactly is 39th? There it is. He's 6 of 9. Uh, that's Rudolf Schmidt. Eh, he's okay. I mean, his morale's not great. Uh, I wish it was a little better, uh, but Rudolf Schmidt, okay, I guess he's just going to have to sit here. We've got a lot of things going back to 3rd Panzer Army. Uh, First Corps, we had Zhashki take over when we transferred Modal. He's a 7646. He's not great either. We'll have to replace him at some point, but we really don't have the points to do it now. So as we move along here, I mean, really, I don't think there's a whole lot to do in the sense that we do have this division, though. Hmm. Can he get over here? I don't think he can quite get there. Actually, man, I'd love to put him up here. Uh, or do I put him down here? Maybe here? And we could start getting some of that motorized out. Or over here is really where I'd like to put him. Let's just try, if I move this back one, can I get him over there? I can, yes, excellent. Okay, uh, let's do that, because that allows us then to take these motorized divisions. Um, we'll move second army, wow, well, gosh, I need an army headquarters in here. All right, let's move the French. Uh, sorry, guys, they're just going to have to move. Uh, we'll stack them with something down here. For right now, I'll put the French there. Um, and I'm going to try to get this motorized back. Now, he can't get all the way back, uh, but he can. And let's get that into Vitebsk, okay, and let him sit there for a turn or two. And then let's go get that infantry unit. Where did I put the infantry? Oh, I already put him in here. Excellent. Okay, so they should be able to hold, I think, with a panzer division now and that. Uh, we could even, you know, reverse him out up to here uh, if it comes to that. Um, this guy we're going to move back. We could actually even put him into the reserves. Where do we got the, where do we have, where do we got, where do we have the rail back here now? 
Okay, well, have, does he have enough strategic move points? Probably not. Uh, no, he can't, actually. Um, okay, so now we got one sitting in Vitebsk. We'll sit this one to uh, the reserves. I want to keep one of them out here in case we got to move it down or do something else with it. Uh, okay, now what, I ask? Um, all right, coming along here, we're still fine. These guys are triple stacked. We've got two that are halfway strong. Uh, okay, uh, are they all? Yeah, see, I got mix and match here as well. Uh, 12th and 53rd. 53rd is Kleeman. So, you know, he's actually quite good. Uh, 12th is Ernst Highway to Hell. He is pretty good, but he's not quite as good as uh, Kleeman. I really would want to turn these over to 53rd. Is Kleeman, what else is he commanding? Nothing else. All right. So these guys can go to 53rd. Uh, 53rd. Okay. And then we can put this in 53rd. All right. Then we can get Ernst Highway to Hell back around the corner here. Uh, he could, you know be a core that takes these guys potentially i get well, actually i could do that couldn't i because i don't like this command um i think i will do that i think i'll put hell in charge of those guys uh you know volkers isn't terrible the thing is he's seven five five seven let's look at hell again uh, he's not that much, right? I mean, right? He's got the initiative by one point. It's probably not, you know, worth changing their command. So let's put Ernst Highway to Hell back here. Uh, that's fine. Now he's got all of these troops. Uh, excellent. Who are you commanding? Well, the guy's stuck under here. That is Rouse. Rouse is all sevens. He's actually quite good. We'll keep him there. Let's make sure our guy here at 53rd Corps has everything he needs. He really doesn't. So we're going to take some of Hell's things and put him in 53rd if we can. Well, actually, Hell doesn't have a whole lot. He wasn't locked. Uh, okay, I'm glad I figured that out. Uh, kind of the wrong way around, but Hell doesn't have any support. Uh, but this guy does... Uh, Kleeman, he's got some howitzers. He's now got the new divisions. Uh, do, 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 do. I, t I still want to save these. Let's put a Werfer battalion with him just so he can fire some rockets if he wants. These guys, he's directly part of 3rd Panzer. Hmm. Let's actually put him in 53rd as well. All right. Okay. There we go. Uh, now we've got, he's got all four of his units right here. He's doing eight of nine. Looks good. These guys. Okay. I think that's going to have to do come around here. Uh, we've got this motorized core. I guess he could move over here a little closer, or at least up to the middle. Uh, that's fine. He's a little closer to his guys. Now then, we come around here to 39th and Schmidt, you know, who's okay again. Um, he's got that motorized. Gosh, dang it, that does not look strong. I worry, I worry. Uh, he does not have a fort level either. These guys are getting a little too close. I guess they're trying to get up into Smolensk because we don't have it built out to Smolensk all the way. It's part of the reason we're not getting quite enough freight out here. Uh, these guys need to hold on one more time. Uh, I don't really know what else to do about it. Let's make sure he's got some stuff. Eh, okay. Okay. We'll have to just roll with it this time. These guys not strong enough either, unfortunately. Uh, but we've got no choice. Now we've got these units. Um, this is 197th ID. He's going back here. Okay. That's Kampfa, who's barely above average. Does Kampfa have any sport units? Eh, he's got a couple. Not great. Um, hmm. 
Well, who else is Comfa? Okay, he does have this unit, and he's got a unit down here. Wow, they're really kind of spread out. He needs more support units. Uh, I'm just going to have to figure something else out when we get down there. Uh, light flak, motorized flak, flak. Uh, we'll have to give him a stug and a werfer for now. He just, he needs some help. Um, all right. He's connected directly back to first core. Uh, okay. Um, might be better off to put him directly into motorized as well. And eventually I want to put all this infantry probably back into second army. Um, just don't love their command. Well, I do like Rouse. Rouse is commanding eight of nine though right now. Hmm. 7100, 5900, 8300. I think I'm going to move him over. I guess I'll do the weaker unit. They're in that motorized. I'm going to move him over one. Um, I'll actually move 57th back. That looks weak. We're going to have to get something in there immediately. I could even move this Panzer to bit, but I wanted him to sit back here and rest. That looks weak, but you know, hopefully he's not going to be able to push in there too hard. We'll see. 55, 89, 74. Okay, that looks fairly strong. Um, I say fairly. <sighs> yeah, we just put the Stugan Warfers in there. These guys, not strong enough. We need to attack here. Maybe we do it backwards and kind of try to reset this. Oh, with the motor, or I guess with this unit, we can't attack. And now they're kind of cut off. Let's do an attack this way and try to blow this out of here. All right, we did. We moved it. Um, not far, but we did move it. Now then. Man, we can't move. Yeah, we could move him. Hmm, not going to be able to move any of those over here. Uh, can we go this way then? Yeah, I guess we're going to have to. Let's go around this way to try to hold that there. He's weak and got blasted. He's got also got no bullets. Um, but we could stack him with him, potentially. This is a brand new unit. Now, he's directly connected to OKH. We need to fix that. Uh, I'm just going to leave him back here, like here, um, for now. This guy, eh, he's going to get blasted away. What's his fort level? It's up to 90%. I don't really want to move him. Uh, at this point, all right, who am I going to attach you to? Who should you be in with? Uh, we could do there. He's got 10 of nine now. Uh, we've got eight of nine there. Oh, Ernst Highway to Hell. Okay. Uh, let's move Hell around this way. We'll put him there. Um, so we'll put this in 12th core. Got it. Okay, that works. Uh, we'll put that in 12th core. And then who was 10 of 9 again? Yeah, okay, that's 8 of 9. Uh, 10 of 9. All right, so we'll put this in 12th core as well. Okay. Now then, we should have this set, set up. 8 of 9. Now Hell has 6 of 9. Uh, that works. That works. I also, I think almost have to move this Panzer Division out. Uh, but we'll come 
back to that, I think. Maybe I should send this guy just straight up to the reserves. Mm. Nah, I don't really think I can. And I think what I'll do is take this French unit, move it there, uh, and then I'll take the headquarters... <sighs> Move it here and here. Okay, it's not perfect, uh, but that's how we're going to have to roll. Now, he's probably going to just get obliterated. Um, he's in the light woods. Uh, okay, didn't I have a unit back here still at Konigsberg? Yeah, the Mendel Field Division. Well, we may as well put it out here on the map. Um We'll bring him into here, Polotsk. See if he can get off the train. Nope, he needs a hundred shit. Uh, I mean, I could bring him into directly into Vitebsk. That would probably work. Oh, you know where else I could put him actually? Um, right up here, right up here. Not that he's going to do a whole lot, but he could stand out here. Let's do that. He's got 74 left. No. Okay. Let's try something else then. Let's back him up. Uh, at Vileki Luki, let's take uh, six core out for a minute. Just back it on the road. Then let's bring him up into Vileki Luki on the rail and see if he can get off there with 74 points left. Yes, he can, but he can't move. All right, well, we're going to have to leave the headquarters out uh, for a turn. Uh, and then hopefully he can get up into this fort level and just stand there, uh, which is really what we need at this point is people just standing there. Um, okay, uh, as we come around here, not sure there's too much to do here. I mean, uh, we've you know, got him set up. At least he's in a level two fort. They're just standing here trying to get in the way. Uh, let's get on move. Let's do an attack there. Hopefully drive him out. All right. We routed that unit. That's 2,300 men. That's helpful. Then we'll take the infantry that's sitting here and we'll attack there. Uh, we only knocked him back. That kind of surprised me. Uh, I'm surprised we didn't get a little better there. Now, he still has bullets, okay, so that looks fine. Uh, what I did want to potentially do here, I could take these units up here to help, um, or I could start trying to put them together down here. So we've got two 17th and one... And the reason I say that is we can move this infantry in here, uh, and I think that's what I want to do. Uh, I think, you know, he could try to break through here, but I really don't know where he'd be going there. This does not have much of a fort level. I'm just going to put him there. Um, yeah, 2, 211. Now we have 2 17th and 1 17th. Their 3 17th is all the way down here. I would like to put all that together uh, into a panzer division. Um, so I'm going to back this off. And I'm going to take 2 17th. All right. He can get there. Okay. And then we're going to take 117th. He can get there. Awesome. Uh, so these guys we could put back together into a Panzer Division. If we take this off, it's now 13 of 20. I mean, that's that looks pretty strong. Uh, now his guys are down here. Uh, 3 7th. No, not all of them. Where the hell are they? Uh, two tenth, one tenth. Okay, he's the seventh though. Okay, could I get three tenth up here? Looks like I could if I move this motorized division. Let's just see if that's true. Let's move him there for a second. Let's try to get. Yeah, he's got one point left. Awesome. Uh, that means we can put him back together. Okay, I mean, those aren't in great shape. We really actually would love to move him. I say we. I would love to move him uh, back up into Minsk, and I think we'll do that next turn. But let's protect him first. Now, all of his guys are down here. 
three seventh one seventh um the thing is is we're getting a little surrounded here and so what i want to do is take one seventh i guess and put him here with the hungarian security unit Ooh, i can't quite get him in there now i don't want to give up that fort level um Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'd say that a few times. Hmm. Now we've got a fort level of two. We're not going to give that up. Uh. Yeah. 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 I'm missing by one point. Can he get around over here somewhere? He's just kind of standing out here. But I think we need him to come down here and help. Um. What's he pushing for out here? Nothing really. Here's Brest-Litovsk. Well, we just can't let him get, you know, to these rail lines. I mean, this one's already broken, but we can't let him get to this one. Um, hmm. That's just too weak. How far can he can get to there? Boy, I just am afraid that's going to get totally steamrolled. Uh, this Panzer could get down here, but this is way too strong. I mean, we need that Panzer right here, Panzer Division. Let's go here just so they don't get surrounded. I don't know. We'll have to figure. We got to bring some reinforcements right in here. This is getting a little out of hand. Uh, I mean, it's been getting out of hand for a while, uh, no doubt about that. Um, okay, well, now a lot of these guys are going to be out of command. Where is their commander? Where are you, sir? You're sitting in Minsk. They're going directly back to 2nd Panzer, but they're out of command anyway. So he's been sitting in Minsk. Now, if he came here, I guess a lot of this would be in command, but I'm afraid he's going to get a blasted. He could come like here, but it looks like they're trying to push there. Matter of fact, with this guy, let's go back and look at that one more time. How about we put it there for now? Okay, there was a unit there. Now, he may get obliterated. Uh, it's, there's potential there. Um, shit, now I'm tempted to break these back up now that I finally got them back together uh, and just take one of the other ones and put it there I think I'm gonna have to unfortunately I don't really want to do it but I think I've got to put something there um, you know this is the strongest fort level Ooh, getting really extended down here. Uh, if we turn on the logistics, yeah, he's got a high capacity. He's, but, you know, it's easily going to be within the capacity. I think, so he is 14 of 15, so he is in command. Von Vettengoff. I think we really need these things to make their dice rolls. Uh, I'm going to move him around here for now. Uh, I'll actually move him into Minsk then. That is going to take this out of command. I hate to do that, but I think we need to have something sitting there. Eh, we're going to roll with that for now. Uh, okay, this guy. I could either take him this way. I think that's what we're going to have to do is bring him around. This puts him on the road here. He's building a fort level. Eh, I guess we're just going to sit him there. Uh, this unit needs to get the hell out. This Romanian unit, off he goes. He's directly connected to OKH. I don't know if that makes a whole lot of sense. Well, I guess I'd rather him go back to OKH than Romanian high command. All right, we don't have enough stuff here. Uh, obviously, he's going to be breaking through all of these places, but I'm not really sure what to do about it. I've stared at this a hundred different ways, and I just don't see uh, where to put these units to, to cover this whole front. I, I just don't see it. Um, so we're going to try to do the best we can. I, I 
you know, what's back here? I, I, not a whole lot. I mean, our rail is all the way back here, our main rail now. So I'm just going to back him up. I'm going to put him in light woods if I can find him. That's swamp. But swamp isn't going to do us a whole lot of good right now. Uh, I hate to move him out of Ravno, too. I don't know. I guess I'll leave him there for one more turn. I could even put this Netherlands motorized potentially over there because I think these guys are going to get blown away. Let's see what this looks like if we were going to do, you know, some kind of crazy... Well, we almost get odds there. We certainly wouldn't there. Um... They've got bullets and a lot of them. This Netherlands unit, I could even bring up here and start trying to, you know, just act like I'm going to encircle something. Why don't we go ahead and hit this and see if we, okay, we did. We got the route. That's excellent because, you know, that maybe would back him off just slightly. Um, now I guess I can put this unit shit, I don't know, here just to try to stem the tide uh, a little. Uh, yeah, it's a clear hex, but really don't know what else to do. I'm just trying to exert a little zone of control until I can get a few more reinforcements in here. Uh, I decided to go ahead and move, send that back to headquarters. This guy, I guess I'm going to actually... Ah, that doesn't make sense. Don't pull out of the town. Um... All right, these guys, I don't know. We have this Panzer Regiment. We've got some Romanians just for fun. Let's see what this combat value. Okay, they're kind of even, I guess, a little bit. This is a bad situation. He's now come in here to Zytomir in strength. Uh, I don't, you know, this is obviously not going to be a good attack, but I'm just curious. He He's representing a 41 combat value there. Uh, this we have the advantage, but that's into a fort. Don't love that. Um, I don't want to leave Zytomir if we don't have to. Uh, but if we have to, we have to. Um, could bring this over here. He looks strong enough now to withstand that. Why don't we actually bring the motorized unit like here on the on the road or do i want to put the motorized in zytomir yeah that makes sense right let's put the motorized in zytomir and then we'll take the infantry now if we look what's this look uh he we can't directly attack but that's a strong motorized unit let's then put the infantry ew, do i put it there or here See, I think they're just going to move right through here fairly easily. Um, maybe for this turn, I just leave him here. I, you know, I can't take the chance of them getting surrounded, though. Ooh, what is this? This is light woods. This is light woods. Hmm. So if they can pour through here. Why don't I just back him up one? Maybe this will give us a decent amount of zone of control. Or maybe I put him right here. That is clear, though. That is clear. Oh, I'd be better off putting him right here and figuring something else out for that. All right. I'm going to do that. I, I don't... I don't know. I might, I might be better off just leaving him there, but I, I think for now that's kind of what I can do. These guys seem to be setting up fort levels. They don't, they don't necessarily look like they're going to go you know, sprinting through here. Uh, they might, but they, they don't look like they're going to right now anyway. Uh, we've got this cavalry unit. You know, hell, I don't know. We could move this down here maybe. Uh, we don't really have to have there, but I think I'm going to leave it for now. Um, this unit looks quite strong. 3.3, 0 0.4. Let's try to hit that. See what happens. Okay, well, we lost that battle. Uh, okay, it was 1.7 to 1. We almost got there. Uh, now then, we've got these guys. 
that no longer are really under threat. Maybe that, well, I say that, right? Famous last words. But maybe we start a couple of these guys, we move them down. Now, they're not really in a city, but I don't... They are in a fort level. I could move the one guy here. Okay. And then I could move him start moving him further south does that make sense I mean we don't want to leave this un, you know too unguarded uh, but it looks like he's kind of given up on the direct assault anyway and we've got really nice fort levels four of nine this is this little gap that I'm worried about um, Six point eight to four point seven. Oh, I do have this other motorized that we could potentially move around here. Put them both in Zydemir for a turn. I mean, I don't think that he can get around us there. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna move him over to Zydemir. All right. Now these two, maybe next time, can blow him. Uh, they've got some zone of control. Now if he you know, pops through to here, we'll just have to move one or both out of the city. I'm now kind of tempted to scoot him back. I wish that was light woods, though. And then we've got a town, but it's a clear hex. Clear. I think I've got to leave him right there. This looks strong, but I just wonder... You know, it's a five. I just wonder if it's quite as strong as it's representing. I don't know. That's going to have to do. You know, we're going to have a hole here. I don't know what else to do about it. Uh, 98.39. I could move this unit here and try to attack. Or I could just try to attack with him. 2.9 to 1.9. He does have 57% ammunition. Deliberate attack. Let's try it. Oh, that was much stronger than we thought. Okay. <clears throat> we actually didn't, you know, get ground up there. We only lost 144 men, but that is a stronger unit than I suspected, which means I'm actually going to move him there. Uh, now you may say, out of Kiev. Well, we got 16,000 there and a two fort level. I think we'll be okay for a turn. I'll probably move this guy back up there next turn. Um, you know, we have weakened it right here a little bit, but we just can't get surrounded. So that's how we're going to play it. Um, these guys, looks like the Soviets have a little bit abandoned coming in here. A little bit. I mean, you know, abandoned maybe was a little too strong of a word. Uh I'm sure they'll be back, but they're not in there now. If worse comes to worse, we can maybe pop one of these up here. Uh, that reminds me, let's get them some things on refit. Uh, he doesn't really need it, but everything at the front, we're going to try to put on refit at this point. Uh, refit, refit. We've just got so many men uh, sitting in the reserves. He doesn't need to be, and he could also set static here, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, 11,000. Refit, 10,000, refit, uh, 9,000, definitely refit, 10, all right, you know, we'll see what can be brought here. These guys don't need it. This doesn't need it. It's a brand new, uh, he does need some command though. I guess he'll go directly back to 11th army. All right. So directly back to 11th Army, he goes. Uh, these units, I mean, they're Army Group South. They're uh, some Romanian Corps here. Eh, okay, I mean, these guys are probably going to get just devastated this turn. Uh, but maybe the Soviets will pull up a little bit short. I mean, at some point, they're going to get too extended. I keep saying that. Uh, they're expanding. We're going to have to bring major reinforcements right here, of course, and maybe over here as well. We're no longer even guarding this. I, I mean, he's got a lot of troops out here. As I keep saying, if we can get some kind of encirclement going here, uh, we're going to get half the damn Soviet army uh, that's in those marshes now. But it's looking good for him at this point. Um... Let's go back around here just 
very quickly, uh, apologies, but I want to make sure he's got everything he needs and he doesn't. That's part of the reason I was putting support up there. Let's do Stugs. Let's do a Pioneer Battalion. Uh, I wish I had a mixed flak, light flak, army light flak. E okay, we'll have to put a few flak in there. Um, I mean, he just doesn't have what he needs at this point. He needs uh, he needs some artillery. Uh, we're going to have to take that from somewhere else. But where is the question? Um, we could pop some of the, try to pop, but we can't go sideways we'll have to put them up into okh first so let's actually look at these headquarters out here what does 11th army have just you know in it uh not a whole lot okay um also what is their supply priority up here it's a two okay that's what we want theirs is a three all right that's perfect eef, eef, don't like that don't like some of this um 30th Corps, right. Okay, so it's Von Salmuth. Eef, we could be doing better there. He's got some howitzer heavy cannons, but it's not really great. Um, well, that's how, how he's going to have to roll this time. We're going to have to move even more. As a matter of fact, why don't we go into the reserves on the ground and see what we still have sitting back here. Uh, artillery, this gun battalion. What's his TOE? Yeah, he's depleted. He needs another turn of sitting here. Um, how about the mixed flak? How about these guys? 100? All right, let's bring heavy flak and mixed flak off. Transfer to the map. I say off, out of reserves and onto the map. Uh, mixed flak is what I'm looking for because it can also be anti-tank. Uh, there we go. 92, close enough. So let's get a lot of these back on the map, and we'll put them down in those. Uh, because, they, like I said, they can also be anti-personnel, uh, uh, or anti-tank, I'm sorry. Uh, 1575, 53 guns, yep, that's good enough. We'll transfer into the map, make sure the TOE is good, 92 of 92. Map, yep. All of these mixed flax, if their TOE is good, we need to get them out of here. Uh, map, yep. We've also got these Stugs, 100 of 100. Uh, we've got a lot of these. To the map you go. Uh, 85, I'll let him sit one more turn. There's a 100 map. All right, I actually think I'm going to do this offline. I'm not going to make you guys sit here, and I'm going to go through every one of these, uh, and also even the construction units. I guess we don't have any rocket units, uh, but look at all these Stugs and uh, Panzer Jaegers. Uh, this is only at 29%. This one's at 48 so these guys are, you know, trying to get better. Seven, uh, 100. All right, well, that needs to come back on the map. Uh, if it's sitting at 100 Yes, let's go. I think I clicked on the wrong one. Nope, I didn't. I got it. 100, that's 11. I'm looking at the TOEs. If you're like, what the hell is he saying? 11, 29, it's over here. TOE, how many are ready? How many are ready and damaged out of a percentage of 100? There's 11. There's 100. It's the third one. Go back to the map. All right, so I'm going to do all this offline. Thank you guys so much for joining me. We will be li back live Wednesday. I believe that is June 30th, 27th, yes, 29th, 30th. Wow, I'll be back. So this will be up on Tuesday the 29th. You'll be seeing this uh, tomorrow uh, for you. We will be back live, uh, so I always say somewhere between 2.30 and 3 o'clock. Let's call it, th you know, it's probably going to be closer to three, uh, but if I, you know, can get off work a little early, uh, we'll start, or you know, probably two forty-five or something like that. So, you know, just be just be awake at two thirty uh, Pacific Coast time, uh, but it may be as late as three. Anyway, this has been Strategy Gaming Dojo. Thank you guys so much. Have a good one. I'll talk to you next time.